remember, the reason we do these exercises are for improved posture and alignment, which takes pressure off the nerve and leads to great health. So this is an exercise routine for the lower abs. Remember the abdominal muscle goes from your lower ribs into your pelvis. But functionally, we separate it into two parts, the upper uh, abs, which we have another video for. Now we're gonna talk about the lower abs. And this is a very, very important muscle for proper posture and proper alignment. So we're gonna separate it into a few different levels. When you do this at home, you're gonna pick the most difficult level for you that you can still accomplish. Again, you never wanna hurt yourself. If anything will, uh, causes pain, stop and speak to your doctor. But you know, if you pick the easiest, you're not gonna to accomplish too much. So first, you always want to keep your lower back and your upper body stable. You don't want these things moving around too much on the lower uh, abdominal exercises. So the easiest exercise, if you're a beginner, is just one leg at a time, bringing it up and down. And again, and then obviously alternating legs, good. This is for the, the very beginner that if you've never done an abdominal exercise in your life and you're a little out of shape and you wanna start somewhere, this is a great place to start. So the next level would be more like marching. So one is up and as that one goes down, the other one comes up. Good. Very good. And the more you straighten your legs, the more difficult it can become. And after a couple of minutes of this, I'm sure Jan's gonna to start to feel it. So we'll save her from that. And then the most difficult is with the legs straight. Again, tightening your abs, not moving your pelvis, and bringing the legs up. Good. And down. Good. Always breathing, like with all exercises, keeping the, the abs tight and scooped in. And down. Good. And then to make it even more advanced, lastly, we'll take a book or a pillow. You, I'm sure you've seen this on TV or in the gym that sometimes they'll use those stability balls between the legs. But if you just take a book, and this is a heavy book, one of my favorites, and you can put your hands under your pelvis for a little extra support. You could do that, yep, and down. And this is really a cruncher. Pulling in the abs, breathing, squeezing the book, and the legs up and down, pulling in the abs. And because this is a heavy book, it really takes it to the next level. Good, I'm gonna get you in just to do two more. Good, breathing slowly is important, makes it more difficult. Good, last one. 